Kemacetan di jalan bakal tak lagi menjadi masalah begitu taksi terbang menjadi kenyataan. Salah satunya yang sedang dikembangkan perusahaan rintisan X-Wing dekat San Francisco, negara bagian California. Didirikan pada 2016, X-Wing menggarap perangkat lunak penerbangan otonom yang bisa dikembangkan untuk mengangkut kargo atau manusia. Most accidents in aviation uh, historically have been uh, have been due to pilot errors. The vast majority of them. It's a you know these are fairly complex systems and there's a you know a lot of mental workload on the pilot uh, when he needs to you know fly an aircraft. And, uh, and that's why automation can help because it can reduce that workload. It's very interesting that it's a robot and uh, unlike a human that does something differently every single time. I know after I've observed so many times it will do exactly the same thing. And I'm there to confirm that it's acting the same manner it has before. The really exciting thing is it has a voice of its own. So it talks to me throughout the full phase of flight. So we don't have to make any more manual callouts. Bila X-Wing menggunakan pesawat yang dimodifikasi, pemain lain yang menggarap taksi terbang seperti Whisk menggunakan pesawat yang sama sekali baru. Pengembangan taksi terbang memunculkan jenis kendaraan atau pesawat baru yang disebut sebagai EV Toll, yaitu singkatan dari Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Aircraft. Jenis kendaraan seperti ini bisa terbang atau lepas landas secara vertikal dan juga bisa mendarat secara vertikal juga. Biasanya masih dalam bentuk prototip sehingga belum mendapat persetujuan penuh dari regulator termasuk di Amerika Serikat. Faktor keselamatan dan keamanan inilah yang juga menjadi perhatian produsen. We are about making sure that these kinds of drones of different sizes, shapes, even the big air taxis that they can safely take off and safely land and we can safely and securely process the cargo and process the passengers to give comfort and, and assurance to, you know, future customers of ours but also of theirs that this is an industry that is going to be you know very very common and it's going to be very very normal karena itu perlu waktu untuk mengembangkan taksi terbang sebelum layanan diluncurkan i think you'll see some some operations this decade but i think the 2030s will really be the decade of advanced air mobility and you'll really start to see this be more ubiquitous from that point on konsultan frost and sullivan memperkirakan pada 2040, bakal ada sekitar 430-an ribu taksi terbang di seluruh dunia. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.